Hey, do you uh, do you box occasionally? Yeah. Do you want to box me? Oh yeah. Cool. Let's do it. Let's do it. Cool. Gloves or no gloves? Um, gloves. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. I've got a little trick up my sleeve. What is it? Like brass knuckles or roller quarters? A knife. It's even better. Glove gun. Oh man. Talk about lights out. Dude, let's see what he thinks about this. I'm gonna give him the old one, two, 38 special. All right, put him up, bud. Oh. <laughs> Today's video is sponsored by PDS Debt. Getting into debt can happen so easily, and the system is designed to make getting out of it nearly impossible. It can feel like an endless cycle with no escape, but I'm here to tell you there's a way out. When you're making your payments on time each month and you're not seeing those numbers go down, it's time to switch up how you're tackling your debt, and PDS Debt can help. They can help create customized options for anyone struggling with credit cards, personal loans, collections, and even medical bills. There's no minimum credit score, and anyone with $10,000 or more in eligible debt will qualify. PDS Debt will help you roll the entirety of your debt into one monthly low interest payment, making it easier to pay off in a fraction of the time, which will save you thousands in interest and fees. Starting is just too easy. Just jump on their website, answer a few questions, and fill in the information. In less than a minute, you'll have a free quote customized to your situation with no obligations. It really is no surprise that they're a top rated company on Google and have an A plus rating on Better Business Bureau. PDS Debt is offering a free debt analysis. It only takes 30 seconds. Head over to pdsdebt.com slash demo ranch to get your free debt assessment today. We have pistol classes that we have an instructor, he's a police officer, doing out at the Desperado range, our other range. And you guys can sign up for those linked in the description below. We have classes in May, we have classes in June, and we have some that are gonna be in the rest of the year too. I'd like to see you there. I may be stepping into some classes as well. So link in the description below if you wanna go get better at your red dot pistol. Hi, welcome to Demolition Ranch. Today we have, sorry, I thought I heard something in the woods. We have the Sedgley, Mark II, AKA the punch pistol, AKA the glove gun, AKA punchy pow pow, AKA punchster McHurtster, AKA the ultimate fister, AKA hand firing mechanism Mark II. This is Brandon Herrera's gun. I uh, appreciate Brandon for letting me borrow this thing. I saw one of these at auction one time, ended up not buying it. So I've had my eye on these ever since. And then he put out a video a few months ago and I was like, hey, can I borrow this thing? It actually scares me. Um, we put it on a sturdier glove than he had it on. The glove is not original, but the pistol is. This is a World War II pistol. Um, it's made to go on a glove just like this. And uh, these are actually super rare. In his video, he said like 50 to 100 of them were estimated to be made. One of these sold at auction uh, about six years ago for $23,000. Not sure how much Brandon paid for this thing, but it's a rare piece. I was trying to figure out what it's actually classified as, if it's classified as a pistol or just a firearm. Um, I think it's just classified as a curio relic. Uh, it is chambered in 38 special, and you put a 38 special round in there, and this is your barrel right here this is your firing mechanism whenever that is depressed quickly you can actually see the firing pin fly up right there so you'll punch and it will just lever in here and hit the firing pin into your primer firing a 38 special straight out the barrel into whatever you punch now this thing is made to be attached to a glove but we started thinking we were like well, theoretically, it doesn't have to only be attached to a glove. You could unbolt these off the glove and you could theoretically put the glove gun on anything that might not be a glove, which we're also gonna to explore today. But first, let's try it as a glove gun and see how the punch pistol works. So this pistol was originally made for the OSS to use against the Nazis. You've probably seen the movie Inglorious Bastards um, and uh, it was used there. Who here doesn't like Nazis? Mikey didn't hear me, I guess. No, I can hear you. Okay. Uh, anyway, 38 special goes in just like that. All right, I have not fired this thing ever. I was actually, Brandon asked me if I wanted to be in the video and I was like, no, I'm kind of scared to shoot it, but now I, 
I just the more I think about it, the more I want to shoot it. And he, when he filmed it, like barely anyone died. So I'm just gonna heart shot this dude, right? Hearts on the right, right? Okay. More in the middle. Ooh, that was cool. How'd that feel? You're shaking, dude. Dude, it felt good. I am. I'm nervous. I just went for it, and that's a dead Nazi. <laughs> All right, so that is a spent shell. It has a little extractor here, and uh, 38 special out, and we're all in one piece. Glove held together. We just we just mounted this thing. Glove held together well. Cool. Let's shoot a couple more things while it's in glove form. What's up, Hans? Fist bump. Oh. Oh, dude, my bad. I forgot I had the punchy Mick Pow Pow on. Sorry, dude. Got you! <laughs> oh man, it gets you every time. Cup check! Dead leg! Wet willy! Did that tickle? Let's see what she does in some ballistics gel. Ow, that one hurt. Oh, it went sideways. So it is like shaking back on my fist every time. But yeah, that one. Went... All right. Out, right? Yeah, I mean, it came oh, out. Yeah, it did come out. So there's what the fist looks like. You can see it's like just, it's bashing my knuckles every time I fire it. Not too bad, the first few didn't hurt. Now that I've done a few, it's starting to add up. But it works, and it's, it's a little bit more powerful than my punch. My punch is basically that powerful already. All right, trying something new instead of a glove gun because it's like people are going to see that right like you're going to have a glove with a gun on it's a little too obvious let's do something a little more discreet boot gun we call it the punt gun so i'll just um kick this guy in the ribs <laughs> yep that worked that worked better than i thought <laughs> reload back in the fight I felt coconut go up my pants. <laughs> Do you ever just look at a knife and go, this is not enough. Introducing the knife 2.0. I don't know why no one's thought of this. Imagine you're going to that church picnic and they need someone to cut the watermelon. I'm your guy. But then a bad guy shows up at the church picnic. The watermelon is the bad guy. And I'm like, get out of here, bad guy. And then I'm like, you think that's all I have for you? Well, let's stop. Okay, okay. It's stop. <laughs> Take that, bad guy. Hit it. What's up, Matt? Not much. What's up with oh, you? Oh, hey. What? Uh, the. Oh shoot! Is it? I'm sorry. I'm flagging. Is it loaded? Uh. Nope. Oh, good. cool. Cool. We made a we made a cap gun. All right, I'm gonna headbutt something. All right, just kidding. I am not brave enough to headbutt with a gun hooked to a hat. So I'm just gonna hold a, a guy who has a gun hooked to a hat hooked to his head. We Matt, take. But you were wearing it in the thumbnail. You're a liar. Um, that's true. Oh well, they're here now. It's loaded. Thanks for coming, guys. All right. Does real life cap gun work? We're gonna have to actually move this closer. <laughs> yep. Now that's a headbutt. So slow. <laughs> Boom. Oh yeah. And there's all the stuff that's flying all over my arms right there. <laughs> this is a cattle prod with a gun. So like, yeah, if your cattle are, you know, not reacting to when you're trying to zap them, and you need them to move a little faster, you just go ahead and unload up your 38 Special in there, and you're like, get on, girl! Get on! <laughs> Jeez. And then she runs. Ha! 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 Ya, ya, ya! Open chamber. It's just, it's just a pipe, guys. Right, right. It's fine. Right. It's fine. 
How many comments do you think we're going to get about that? A lot of comments. <laughs> They're going to be pissed. Literally, it's just a barrel when it's in its Let's open configuration. Let's just stop you right there. We know. You shouldn't point that at people. Yeah. I didn't, oh, I didn't oh, consider Oh, darn. That. Oh, treat every gun like it's loaded. It's not a gun, though. Oh. It's, a, it's a curio and relic, according to the right. ATF. Cattle prodding, a coconut. That's what you get. Yep, got it. <laughs> nice. Power. Can you hear me now? He's an alien. I'm glad I killed him. He's an alien. We actually have a real gun. I mean, that's a real gun too, but this is a, a normal gun. This is a Canik. Um, you've seen several Canics on the channel. I have several of them, and I really, really like Canics. Not paid to say that. I just think they're cool. This one is extra cool though, because it is a collab between Terran Tactical and Canik. So this is the TTI combat version um, of Canik's gun. And uh, yeah, we have a few other Terran Tactical guns. We've got. The, uh, the Sand Viper is my favorite, but yeah, a little striker fired Canic TTI collab here. Got that. Brand new Canic. It was the first mag I've ever put through it. And I was thinking about what anyone thinks about when they get a new pistol. How would it be for pistol whipping? But then I was like, what if we hook a gun to the gun so when you pistol whip, you still have ammo? Instead of a glove gun, it's a gun gun. Yeah, it's a gun. When you run out of ammo, you could pistol whip with it. With the gun. The second secondary gun. Gun that shoots bolts that way and, and this. Okay. Watch out. There's a, this is a sketch. Okay. Um, you know, we're just gonna, yeah, this is great. I thought I would shoot him in the shoulders a lot and by the end of it, he would still be on the table. So it's a, we've got to reset real quick. So my plan was to go, oh no, I shot him in the shoulders, missed all his vital organs, and now I'm out of ammo. So I must pistol whip him. What, did you get a little alien blood? I just got alien misted. No big deal. Um, yeah, that's better than a regular pistol whip though, I think. That was, that's a good way to do it. Kaboom! Kaboom! Boom, boom, boom! That's pretty cool. Thanks to Brandon Herrera for letting us borrow the glove gun. It's very interesting. I don't think it's very practical. I don't know when you'd ever really need it, but it's a spy gadget. It's a piece of history. It is pretty cool and uh, it was pretty fun using it. We wanted to do it in kind of a different way than what uh, Brandon did with it. That's why we hooked it to boots and stuff. Go check out my merch, link in the description below. We got Desperado Resort hats, we got Bunker Branding gear, and also go follow us over on the Matt Carricker channel. That's where we do all of the Desperado Resort renovation, and that's where I spend most of my time now. Thanks for watching this episode of Demolition Ranch. I love you, and I'll fist bump you next time. No, don't, David, come on. Open up!
was that? <laughs> Let's end this video.